everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everybody's doing amazing i hope everybody's been having an amazing week um so today's reading is another pick a card reading and it's just i want to kind of tap into everybody's like the collective energy and to see what spirit guides are around you and what messages they have for you so i'll be pulling from the tarot and also like this map oracle that I have here and, and the tea leaf, tea leaf oracle and toward, just to get some general messages of whatever spirit wants to bring forward to you. And also I have some oracle decks, um, the goddess oracle deck, I have my ascended masters oracle deck and I have the archangel oracle deck also just to pull out some cards towards the end of the reading just to see which spirits are around you. And so as always I have three piles to choose from. Pile one is going to be the clear quartz. Pile two is going to be my Moldavite here. Pile three is the Carnelian. So if you need to take a minute to pause the video and try to decide on which one is calling to you. Um, I will be starting with pile one. Oh, and just um, I, as always, I always put the timestamps in the description box. And I usually, if I can remember, I will pin it in the comment section so you guys just like quickly find the timestamp. So if you don't want to go uh, listen to the intro, you could just kind of skip through that. As always, I always have that. And I also just want to let you know, if you are interested, I am offering readings again. And you can find my information in the description box as well. So I'll be starting with pile one. Okay. Okay, spirit. Okay. Spirit, for pile one, can you give us some messages? Actually, let me pull from this one first. Just to kind of get like a little... This is like the... Uh, this oracle deck is kind of just discusses different aspects of paths in our lives so i just kind of want to get it like a quick little feel for what's going on around you guys for pile one spirit for pile one can you let us know what's going on or what messages do you have for them what do you want to bring forward to them to their attention spirit for pile one pile one please pile one what's going on with them okay so let me pull so we got taking shelter the answers are within okay so I'm getting from this immediately. I'm looking at the little lantern that this person is holding. And to me, that's, yeah, the answers are within, the light within you, okay? There's something that you need to, um, maybe during meditation or something regarding this that you can, um, and we got here, release control also. So I think there's maybe an aspect of some of you guys on pile one, maybe overthinking some kind of situation and you kind of just kind of take a, a second of respite, right? And kind of look within, calm down, calm your, calm your emotions down, ask spirit for guidance as well. And what I'm getting with this lantern here, it's like looking within, but also... Um, getting guided as well. So if you guys need to ask spirit and that's, you know, basically what they're coming forward, they're, they're coming forward. We like, we're, you know, we're trying to guide you um, just to take a step back and calm your energy because I feel like some of you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but let's get into the tarot. Okay. Spirit, can you give us some more information for pile one? What guidance do you have for pile one, please? For pile one, please. What messages do you have for pile one about their path? Spirit guides, spirit guides. What messages do you have for pile one? Okay, we got diversity here. So what I'm getting here, and it's kind of coinciding with what these cards are, releasing control, overthinking of what's going on, but also what I'm getting here is this woman to me, she looks a little bit more older, like wiser of a woman. And um, she's able to look out on this land. I'm seeing what she's seeing. And she's, she's the, the sky is a little cloudy, but it's mostly clear. I don't like, it, there doesn't seem like to be any storms in the area. But she's able to see, and she's able to see far, far away. And like kind of what I'm getting with this, and she's holding a scroll here also. And what I'm getting with this is that she has wisdom from whatever she learned. And being able to take a step back and to be able to see far, far in the distance, right? And diversity here. Being able to, you know, um, just uh, 
find your way in the diversity you know i like seeing all these books here so is there some kind of knowledge that you guys need to look at there's something this come some kind of research that you need to look at and uh make this decision is there some kind of introspection that needs to go on um, because you're going to get the wisdom from some, some kind of research is what spirit was kind of wanting to bring your to your attention and with this research and kind of going within and not overthinking things maybe taking on more of a logical approach and getting guidance from spirit like whatever nudges spirit is trying to give you you're going to find your way and you're going to be able to see clearly toward to the ends of the to the end of um, your goals like the end you're going to be able to see your way to victory is what i'm getting here queen of force is here so what i'm getting with this card is the balance between the sun and the moon right finding balance within yourselves finding uh finding yeah with meditation um um equal finding equilibrium within your body your mind and your soul so if uh yeah if you guys are feeling a little overwhelmed getting getting in touch like maybe doing like a quick run or like some walking or something eating clean drinking clean water meditation getting into balance within yourself to find uh to have that clarity of thought okay we got the king of scrolls here again so um i'm seeing all the scrolls in the books here and i'm seeing this guy holding this scroll here so there's definitely something about knowledge and holding attaining knowledge and being able you see here how he's kind of looking ahead and he looks like he's kind of he's contemplating but he's happy also with the way he's looking out at the distance it's like he has the answer is what I'm getting with this. And the King of Scrolls here, this can also be a masculine person coming into your life that's gonna be assisting you with guidance or something or helping you to navigate whatever it is that you're trying to um, find answers to. Whatever whatever area in your path you are on, you're gonna be able to find some answers. But it has something to do with knowledge. So there's some kind of research. I'm, I'm, I'm getting research, um, contemplating. Right now is not the time for action is what I'm getting pile one the need to research um read um like look through things and make a logical decision also there might be a, a, exactly like a male a person a masculine person coming into your life that might be helping you to assist you with this maybe this is like if this has to do with financial matters maybe this is an accountant or maybe uh somebody in your family that has experience with something that you're that you're dealing with at this present moment but there may be somebody that may be able to assist you but also with, it, with this if this is not actually a person in your life pile one this is just you attaining the knowledge that you need to make whatever decisions are coming forward in your life spirit can you tell me more for pile one pile one please and then i'll pull some cards just to kind of see which spirits are around you or which spirits might be able to assist you pile one Definitely with this release control, release um, any stress or anxiety you have about the future and kind of be in the now. And I say this because I know all about that. I live a lot too much in the future. I live too much in the past and I forget to be present sometimes. And then that's, you know, that's, that drains our energy. The willow tree here, you're definitely going to get some knowledge and you see the light here. There's going to be some kind of inspiration in your ability to make uh, this decision. You're going to uh, like definitely. And we got the lookout card here too. So definitely planning your dis planning, whatever, um, whatever obstacles might be in your way. You're going to be able to navigate your way out of this. You're going to be able to navigate your way. And again, it's like planning, holding back right now because uh, right now is a time for contemplation. Spirit, anything else, please, for pile one, please, for pile one. Okay, we got views of the ego here. And what I'm getting with this is the, the again, the releasing control. How are you guys, try to, try to, like, take a step back and look at how you're trying to control this situation. Um, is, is this is the path that you're on are you are you like really holding on to like some kind of emotion regarding this or how you want people to see you take a step back and like kind of really think about what what it is is this in like whatever you're trying to do on your path is this in your higher good like are you are you worried about what people are going to think 
something like this. So it definitely views of the ego. Like really look at what your your uh the intentions are regarding this. Okay, we got um Hilarion, I think that's how you pronounce it. And what I'm getting with this, again, look at this pile one. This guy's reading. He's he's in some kind of chapel. He's like He's reading from this book, like I'm guessing it's a book of knowledge of some kind of Bible, something like this, but he's, he's preaching and, or he's learning and you see all the spirits around him. There's definitely guides around you, pile one, that are helping to assist, help, trying to help you, assist you on your path. I'm going to pull from the tea leaf and see anything else. These cards are like these, there's a massive amount of cards here. Let me try to shuffle these in the best way I can. Okay, spirit. Can you give us some more messages about what pile one could be look needs to look out for or what guidance you want them trying to help them with? Spirit for pile one. What do you want to bring to their attention? For pile one, spirit, what do you want to bring to their attention, please? Pile one, what do you want to bring to their attention? Okay. Okay, look at this hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally, definitely a time for contemplation. Like I was saying before, taking a step back, trying to rest and balance yourself right now. You got the star guaranteed success and with the star card to me also is divine intervention and guidance you definitely have spirit around you and they're trying to help you find your way and you are going to find your way with the king of scrolls here you're going to find the knowledge that you are seeking look at this i psychic ability trust your intuition pile one definitely spirit is here trying to guide you okay now i'm going to pull from the oracle decks with the actual spirits to see which spirits are around you that want to come and come they're trying to come in to help you and i'm pulling from the archangel deck right now archangels which archangel wants to come forward for pile one please which archangel wants to come forward for pile one please spirit and um if if any of you like don't resonate with any of these spirits that's okay that might be for somebody else okay but there might be a spirit here for you that you want to work with that may like you may resonate with their energy Okay, this one came out okay look at this archangel uriel brilliant idea look at this guarantee success trust your intuition here and this with this book here there's some kind of knowledge that's going to come in for you guys and the willow tree here this light you're going to get some kind of inspiration but archangel uriel is coming forward for you uh yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruition so definitely that archangel is coming forward Oh, this one came out too. Okay, we got Archangel Metatron, Ingo, Indigo, and Crystal Children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are very sensitive. So that came forward. Let's look at the Ascended Masters now. Okay, Ascended Masters. Which Ascended Master wants to come forward for Pile 1? For Pile 1. What guidance do you have for pile one? Which ascended master wants to come forward for pile one, please? Okay. Saint Germain, work your magic. You're definitely manifesting things and you have some good, good ideas coming. There's something regarding knowledge coming forward and the Saint Germain is coming forward with this. What other ascended master wants to come forward for pile one? Okay, so we got, I don't know how to pronounce this, Para Mahansa Yoganda. Okay, choose peace. Again, look at this, hammock, taking a vacation. This is a time for uh, rejuvenation, pile one. This is a time for rejuvenation. Oh, you know what? Let me pull from the goddess oracle. So I have this goddess oracle. I love this. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced some of the words. If I mispronounce it, you guys can just correct me in the comment section. I won't be offended. I just, I'm not great at pronouncing things sometimes. And uh, some of these spirits I'm, I've worked with, but some of them I, I'm, I have not worked with. So I'm not really familiar with their names, some, some of them. Okay. Which goddess wants to come forward for pile one? And wants to bring guidance for pile one? Which goddess wants to come forward for pile one? Which goddess wants to come forward for pile one, please? 
which goddess wants to come forward and have guidance for Pyro, please? Which goddess? Okay, we got Yi, the sun. Again, with this willow tree here, before an archangel Uriel, I'm seeing a lot of sunlight, uh, inspiration coming forward. If this goddess is uh, resonating with your energy, you know, she may, she's coming forward to work with some of you. Which goddess wants to come forward for Pi One, please? Rhea, flow. Okay, remember what I was saying about control? Surrendering to the journey. Taking shelter and surrendering to the journey. Flow. Go with the flow. This this uh, goddess is coming forward. Let go of control issues. It's going to come when it. you're going to be guiding. You're going to have the inspiration to come. Okay, and then Iris uh, communication is coming forward also. The communication is going to come through your crown, crown chakra, your third eye chakra. Listen to your intuition. It's coming, okay? Any other goddess that wants to come forward for pile one? Is there another goddess that wants to come forward for pile one? Okay, we got Nyx secrets. So there's something right now for the, the the reason for all these cards coming forward saying that a lot of you need to take a shelter right now and kind of just calm your balance your energy because right now the ener the knowledge is secret for you right now, but it's coming and and you can connect with Nyx if you are, you know, to help you get connected to your your your, your divine, the divine guidance that's coming. Because right now is a time for contemplation, balancing your energy, you know, uh, surrendering to the flow. Because right now the, the knowledge is being kept for you, but it's coming though. Whatever research you need to take, um, that you need to go into or look into. And, you know, in this contemplation, the, the the inspiration is going to come. But right now is a little bit of a time for you to balance yourself out because the secrets are going to be um, open to you. They won't be secrets forever is what I'm getting. But if any of these goddesses or ascended masters or archangels are resonating with your energy, you know, then that, I think that's a sign that um, maybe you would, you know, benefit from working with some of them. Okay, Pile One, I hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll see you guys soon. Hey, pile two welcome to your reading so let's get started i'm gonna pull from my map oracle that i have here just to kind of see what spirit what messages spirit has for you on your path right now see what we can you know kind of get like a gist of your energy and what's going on around you right now and then i'll pull from the tarot and my tea leaf oracle and then i'll look into the other oracle decks to see which spirits might be around you what that be trying to guide you Okay, spirit for pile two please for pile two what can you tell me about their path and what guidance do you have for them on their about their path please spirit for pile two for pile two please for pile two please spirit pile two please spirit Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. Okay, so that may be manifesting for a lot of you, Pile 2. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. You guys, let me see, there's another one here. Oh, wow, look at this. Breaking Trail. I only pulled two for uh, two of these cards for um, from this deck for Pile 1, but I just got called to pull another one. Breaking Trail, a breakthrough is at hand. Wow, you guys... There's a huge, uh, huge manifestation coming for you, Pile 2. Something that you guys have been working on, putting into the ether, putting into your mind and trying to manifest some project for a lot of you that you're going to be getting a lot of abundance from. 
look at this. Stepping into your power. This person has been on this path, work, walking, they're tired, you know, what is this? It looks like snow is on the, on the trees, right? You know, it's been a, it's been at times a dark and lonely path, pile two. And, you know, you guys didn't let, you know, you didn't give up. You didn't give up. You didn't uh, lose sight of the end game. You didn't lose sight of your goals and you just kept going. Sorry about that. That's my dog. You didn't lose sight, okay? You kept the light on and even though it was just a bit of a flame sometimes, a bit of embers, you just kept those embers on. You didn't let anybody talk you out of this. I'm really getting like moved by this card. You're, you know, you walked sometimes alone you know, and you know, you kept up with it and you're being, you're being rewarded pile two. A breakthrough is at hand. Look at this. Beneath the surface lies a great bounty. So let's look, pull in some, some tarot and see what, what other messages spirit has. That's amazing. Pile two. I'm like, ha I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> Cause I, you know, you know, when you, working on stuff and you don't see progress sometimes it's like so it's like oh my god you know it's like sometimes it's hard to get inspired you know to keep at it but you guys kept at it and you're being rewarded by the universe spirit for pile two can you tell me more about pile two what's going on with pile two please spirit what is going on about with pile two please spirit and their path please spirit for pile two for pile two please spirit what's going on with pile two what messages do you have for pile two? Ooh. That was too many cards that came out. There's too many cards. Okay. I would have pulled them out, but it's too many. Okay. Spirit for pile two. Pile two. Can you give us some more messages for pile two and their path? What's going on with pile two? Look at this, the master artisan. Look at this. They're like in a workshop. You see this? They're in a workshop. Studying. What is this? For some reason, it looks like, you know, uh, I don't know. You guys remember in chemistry class and you like putting the molecules together. That's what it looks like. But they're in a workshop. Building things, creating things. You guys are the master artisan. You're being you're being rewarded from some for some work you put in. Some work that you're very proud of. Look at this balance here. And with this, with this, I'm getting from spirit here. Doors are opening. You guys have been sitting at your desk for so long and you've been putting in so much work that the like uh the universe is balancing the scales for you guys. Now you're getting the rewards for all that hard work you put in. The doors are opening, the opportunities are coming. And with these scrolls and these uh, this right here to me that's contracts pile pile 2. You guys are going to be getting contracts, communications, okay, regarding um, possible investments or just, uh, you know, uh, profits for all the work that you guys have put in. If this is some kind of business uh, that you guys have been working on or some kind of product that you guys have been working on, something that you guys have been working on, you're being rewarded for this. The doors are opening. There's opportunity coming for you guys. So that's amazing. Look at this. The journey. Look. Oh, my God. Look, the horizon, the horizon, the, the, the skies are endless. Or what is it saying? You guys, literally, you're on a journey. Like, this is just the beginning. Like, all these manifestations are coming. This is just the beginning. You're, this is going to be a, a long road of prosperity and, like, just happiness and fulfillment for you guys. And to me, you guys are feeling so happy and excited for your future. Some of you guys may actually be... Uh, like leaving where you are, these opportunities are going to bring you to different places, seeing different parts of the world or communicating, even if it's not physically moving or like physically uh, traveling to places, you're going to be working with people from different parts of the world regarding these projects that you've been working on, or you're communicating with people from a different parts of the world also. That's amazing. Spirit, can you tell me more for pile two? 
Can you tell me more for pile two, please? I'm excited for you guys. I'm so excited for you guys. Pile two, please, Spirit. Can you tell me more about what's going on with pile two? These are some amazing messages from your spirit team. Spirit, can you tell me more for pile two? What, what do you want them to know? What do you want them to know, Spirit, for pile two? And for some of you, what I'm getting here also with these scrolls that are kind of like wrapped up in that ribbon, you guys have been keeping this kind of close to your chest also. This has been a secret for some of you that you haven't kind of like put out there to a lot of people. Look at this. Oh my God, this one flew out. Look at this. This guy's going on the train, the one of scrolls. You guys are traveling, 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 moving. You're moving a lot of movement. And this is not physical, like actually you moving to a different place. Oh, sorry, I hit my... Uh, you guys are, you're, this energy of prosperity is moving in the right direction for you. You are on track, pile two. Spirit, can you tell me more for pile two, please? For pile two. Can you tell me more for pile two, please, Spirit? Tell me more. What's going on with pile two? What do you want them to know? Pile two. Look at this, in, in crescent moon, look at this. Look at this, they're both working. This guy's working on a sculpture, but he's so happy, he's inspired. He's working on his inspiration, whatever's fulfilling him, his passion, he's following his passion. You guys are following your passion. And with this moon here, you're going to be gaining recognition with this, the light is shining on you guys. Whatever you guys have been working in the moonlight, moonlighting in secret, you know, you've kind of kept this as a secret passion for some of you. It's, you're going to gain recognition for this. It's amazing. And you're going to get recognized from different people um, across the world. Look, the karmic trench, again, what you guys have seeded, you are now, you are now getting rewarded by the universe, the karmic trench. You guys, literally, this guy is harvesting like he, or he's, putting the seeds down, but it's karma now, good karma that's coming for you because whatever you put in there now, you can harvest it. Okay, pile two. That's amazing. Let me look at the tea leaf oracle and let's see what else spirit wants to bring forward for you. And then we'll go into the, um, we'll go into what spirit guides are around you, which, which guides are around you that are coming forward. And if that resonates, you can work with them. If you like that energy, you don't have to. If it doesn't, if that doesn't resonate with you, uh, that the spirit might be coming out for somebody else, okay? Pile two, spirit, pile two. What messages do you have for pile two? What do you want them to, what do you want them to be aware of? What do you want them to know about? Okay, you got seahorse came out, family matters. These movements, this um, this uh situation that's shifting your 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 uh your lifestyle basically is going to affect your family. You guys might actually move somewhere because of this situation. It's affecting your, it will affect your family in a positive manner. I think definitely in a positive manner. You, these opportunities might be forcing you to actually move your family somewhere else. Spirit for pile two. Can you tell me more about what's going on with pile two? What do you want them to be aware of for pile two? Please spirit. What do you want them to be aware of? Pile two. Okay, we got the flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. So whatever, remember what I was saying there's going to be contracts coming or opportunities coming. Don't take, what I'm getting with this, don't take the first um, offer. Negotiate, negotiate. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. You guys have you guys have an amazing product. Whatever you guys are working on, it's worth a lot, and your knowledge is worth a lot. So don't don't just take the first offer. Is what I'm getting here. Look at this bell announcement. You definitely a huge uh, shift of energies coming in for you guys. Look at this romance celebration and party. A fan for you guys. Amazing, beautiful energy coming in. I'm so happy for you, Pile 2. You guys have been working so hard. I literally can feel like on my shoulders, like you guys have sometimes felt burdened or tired, but you didn't let that get you down. 
That's amazing. Okay, let's look at the Archangel deck and see which Archangel wants to come forward to deliver messages or wants to work with you or lend them, lend you their strength, their guidance. Archangels, which Archangel wants to come forward for Pile 2, please? Which Archangel wants to come forward for Pile 2, please? Which Archangel wants to come forward for Pile 2? Which Archangel wants to come forward for Pile 2? Okay, that one flew out. Hey, gentleness archangel sandal fun be gentle with yourself this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environment yes you guys have worked really hard treat yourself be gentle with yourself so archangel sandal fun is coming forward which other archangel wants to come forward for pile two which other archangel wants to come forward for pile two okay i guess we could pull out two. Oh, well, you get you guys are getting a lot of cards flying out Archangel Raziel, take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. You guys are extremely powerful. Archangel Raziel is coming forward. Okay, let's look at the Ascended Master cards now. And then I have a Goddess Oracle also. I hope you'll be pulling from also. Ascended Masters. Which Ascended Master wants to come forward for Pile 2? Which Ascended Master... Wants to come forward for pile two. Ooh. Osiris, father, husband, brother, son. This is like the divine masculine energy coming forward. Um, because you guys have um a lot of energy coming in. It's like action time. Prosperity opportunities are coming. So definitely the divine masculine is coming forward and telling you again. Again, don't be tempted to lower your standards. Be be assertive as the message is coming forward. So Osiris is coming forward for you. Um, Ascended Master, which other Ascended Master wants to come forward for pile two? Oh, that's too many. Which Ascended Master wants to come forward for pile two? Again, a B. Don't resonate with some of these spirits. It's okay. It's might be for somebody else. Look at this. Apollo, focus upon your strengths. A lot of divine masculine energy is coming forward for you guys. Like the divine feminine is like, um, although the, a lot of the goddesses are, you know, feminine, you know, the feminine energy is a very uh, fierce energy. So it can have extremely fierce energy, but they're also, it's like the feminine to me is like more of a receptive also, nurturing, receptive energy um that definitely have a lot of strong energy coming here coming here telling you to you know you guys have been working your your butts off and you're being rewarded okay which goddesses are coming forward for pile two which goddesses want to come forward for pile two to lend them their strength guidance assistance please pile two for pile two oh that's too many again you guys have cards flying all over the place. There's a lot of energy in this in this um uh, this reading. Pile two. Which goddess wants to come forward for pile two? A lot of Martian energy. What messages from the goddesses for pile two? Oh my God, look at this. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but Los, Lostre, new beginnings. For sure, new beginnings are coming forward for you. Pile two. You guys, for sure. Saraswati, mastery. You guys are met the masters. You guys, look at this. You guys literally got two cards talking about your craft, whatever you've been working on. You have gained mastery and she's coming forward for you. Look at this, Aphrodite's coming forward, romantic love. This could be a new beginning regarding love also. She's coming forward also. Pile two. You guys, this was an amazing reading. I absolutely like adored this energy. You guys um, like should be so proud of yourselves and just be excited for these new begin beginnings that are coming forward. I'm so excited for all of you. And I wish you well on your, I wish you well and the best on your path. And um, I will see you guys soon, okay? Okay, pile three, welcome to your reading. Let's get into it and see what messages your spirit team has for you. So I'm going to pull from this map oracle just to see where you guys are, the gist of your energy right now. 
um, any messages about your path, anything that they want to bring forward, okay? Okay, Spirit, can you help me to connect with Pile 3 and their energy, please? What messages do you have for Pile 3 regarding their path? Can we, what do you want to bring forward to them? What do you want them to be made aware of, please, Spirit, for Pile 3? Pile 3. What do you want to bring forward for them, Pile, for pile 3, Spirit? Pile 3, help me to connect with Pile 3. They're showing, they just showed me like, you know, when you're like in a city and, um, but for some reason it's like, it looks like an old city to me. I'm seeing like a lamp post and, um, like when you're standing at the edge of the street waiting to cross the street, but you have to wait until the traffic slows down or stops. So you could do like, you know, cross, pass through the crosswalk and stuff. Um, but they're showing me like an old city for some reason and a lamp post. So they're... I don't know if that means anything for any of you, but they definitely just showed me that. Um, okay, Spirit, for Pile 3, Pile 3, what messages do you want to bring forward for Pile 3, please, Spirit? For their path, please. I don't know if that means, like, pause and, and think before you make a decision. I'm not sure. Take what it... So you got transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. Pausing, contemplating, You're, you guys are changing. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is, yeah, simplifying. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, what's the, oh my gosh, what's the, the girl, the girl from Japan? Um, the, the tidying up. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of her. I can't remember her name, but she wrote this book about uh, tidying up, like throwing out things that you don't, that doesn't spark joy anymore. That's the immediate uh, message that I got. And that kind of makes sense with the transformation here because when we want to make room for new things to come in or for a new phase of our life, we got to get rid of the old clutter, the old self, right? Okay, let's get into the next one. We got taking shelter. The answers are within that me uh, message. I did get, I did see a lamppost in my mind's eye. So I'm immediately seeing this like little lantern here. Pause. You guys are in the middle of transforming. Right now is the time to be sensitive with yourselves, calm, and not rush anything. You guys are changing. If this transformation and change can be very painful and scary sometimes. Maybe that's why they were showing me the image of the crosswalk. Just take your time, you know, um, take your time. And uh, the lamppost, like guidance, uh, being able to see where you're going. But also with simplifying your life, the, yeah, the, the tidying up things. Like if you, I don't know if this is going to resonate with some of you, but is there a need for some of you? to kind of like assess what's going on in your life and you know maybe like even um you know not to drop people from your life that's not what i mean uh, but like sometimes we grow out we outgrow people and old um acquaintances and we just don't resonate with that energy anymore and i'm just getting this sense of um like a put or like a kind of a like a nudge from spirit that some people in this pile may need to start kind of like letting go of the old because you guys are changing like your your cha your energy is so different even from like just a month ago maybe you guys there is like your energy is just shifting you're eating differently some of you guys are you know just looking at life differently things that used to be important to you are not important to you anymore you're taking like on a, a whole new lease of life you're look you're totally you're transforming pile 3 and some of you guys, again, um, let lessen the load, uh, let go of things that don't serve you anymore, that you don't even like anymore, honestly, because you're changing into a new person. And again, with this, the lantern, the lantern, um, you know, think uh, everything that you like, every decision that you make, just think before you, you do it because you're changing now. The things that you used to do are don't even apply anymore. Pile three. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's let's see. Um, that's pretty interesting. Spirit for pile three. Can you tell me more? Let's go into the tarot and see what messages the tarot has for us. I honestly, for the ta uh, tarot cards, a lot of people are afraid of the death and the tower cards, but those are my favorite cards because to me, 
it's like a like oh my gosh things are changing things are shifting and yet yeah, it's very scary but it's also exciting pile three spirit for pile three what messages do you have for pile three spirit team pile three spirit team what messages do you have for them oh this one flew out three cards that flew out here no but that's too many. no it's too many it's too many spirit for pile three for pile three what messages do you have for pile three what messages do you have for pile three messages for pile three spirit what do you want to bring to their attention pile three what do you want to bring to their attention pile three Look at this. So on one, so we got, okay, spring and autumn, right? So we got spring on this side and then we got fall or autumn on this side. And what happens in the autumn? The leaves start to fall. We're changing, we're changing, we're switching seasons. Right now is a time, you guys, um, yeah, the leaves are changing. They're falling away anyway. So this is definitely resonating with the messages from here. You guys are transforming. You're letting go of an old you. You're making This is a time to make time um, for new things to come into your life. Let things fall away. We got the Akashic field right now. There's going to be a, a like um, an energy shift for you guys, pile three. You guys are going to be, again, ideas. If some of you are um, like to connect with the Akashic Records, this is an, a, like a confirmation of that. You guys are getting a whole different mindset is what I'm getting with this, with these different colors here, the green and the blue. Um, your, your complete uh, view on life, the, the way you see things, the way that things that used to bother you don't even don't even bother you anymore. You're like changing your, your aura is changing. Your energy is changing. You guys, um, if you guys have been doing a lot of energy work or if you had energy work done on, on yourselves, it is helping to unblock a lot of the things that might've been stagnant on you. And you're releasing that now. Pile three, look at this intricacies and industries. They're building. This is a chapel that's not done yet. They're building this. So with this shift, the leaves are falling away, pile three. This is this is falling away. The old you is falling away. And a new energy is coming in to like replenish what fell away. This new dynamic, beautiful, lush energy is coming in. And you guys are gonna rebuild yourselves. You guys are changing. You're 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 building yourselves into something beautiful. Pile three. You guys are definitely transforming. Oh my God, this one flew out. The Buddha prepares. Pile three, have you guys been doing a lot of spiritual work on yourselves? You're reaching new enlightenment, a new, a new, uh, new um, levels of enlightenment, pile three. You guys are changing. You're seeing things differently. You're, you're appreciating the beauty of life in a different way now, pile three. Spirit, anything else for pile three? What else do you want them to bring? What else do you want them to be made aware of every time I, I do a pick a card reading there's always one pile that's super super spiritual and you guys are that pile three look at this birth oh my god you guys your energy is like just you're like rebirth like you're 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 it's like a new person look at this beautiful lush green energy have you guys changed your diet also and you're just getting you have more energy now Pile three, like you guys have shifted the way you live your lives. Pile three. Spirit, can you tell me more? What do you want them to be made aware of pile, for pile three? There's too many. For pile three, what do you want them to be made aware of pile three? For pile three, spirit. I love this energy. You guys, you guys transformed. Pile three. I thought that's, that's just for pile three. Please, spirit. Look at this lightning bolt. Look at that. And it's like there's blue and green energy here and this lightning bolt. You guys are getting like inspired. Your crown chakra is like opened up pile three. Like the divine is coming forward and like we are working with you now. They're stepping forward pile three. Uh, your divine, uh, whatever you, spirits you guys are working with, angels, um, guides that you guys have been calling on, they're with you guys. And with this, like, again, look at this. 
this lightning bolt is splitting the tree. It's, um, and not like, to me, it's not in a bad way. This is like a new, um, uh, like bringing this energy in to start this new, uh, new way of life. This, um, charging like this, uh, and when I say tarot movement, like, I'm not saying like in a bad way, things are going to fall apart. Like this has already happened. You guys are already in the midst of your transformation for a lot of you. You're getting inspired thought coming in diversity here you guys have like yeah look at this knowledge here she's holding these scrolls she's able to look out into this land with clarity of thought she's able to she has wisdom pile three she's lived through a lot of things and she knows like knows exactly what she likes she knows exactly what she wants she knows exactly what's going to fulfill her and she's in this beautiful like castle too she's happy she's fulfilled she has knowledge she has a different way of looking at this world now, and she's happy about it. So that's beautiful, pile three. The lightning bolt is, to me, yeah, just this inspired thought. This new lease on life. Energy just coming into you right through your crown chakra. Okay, let's look at the tea leaves and see what spirit wants. What other messages do you have for pile three, spirit? Look at this. You got legs stepping into a new experience. Okay. And then a younger man dealing a uh, relationship with a younger man. This might be, um, if that resonates with some of you, but definitely stepping into a new experience. You guys have been possibly working with a younger man um, and you guys have been working, you know, with your spiritual life regarding this. I'm not sure if this is a romantic thing or this is just like a companion for some of you. Okay, Spirit, for Pile 3, tell me more. What do you want them to be made aware of? What do you want Pile 3 to be made aware of, please, Spirit, for Pile 3? What do you want them to be made aware of? Pile 3. Okay, we've got Boots. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So you got leg and you've got boots. So you guys, this energy shift to me is bringing in uh, possible new uh, opportunities also for you guys. It's gonna be time for you guys very soon to start moving because you got boot and leg and that's about walking, moving. <clears throat> okay, we got rabbit here. Too much concern with sexual matters. So I don't know if this has something to do with this younger man and you're transforming out of this situation, that could be uh, a message there. Okay, ink pot, problems to be resolved. You guys, this is definitely whatever is going on here with this transformation, This the, whatever issues were going on, they are being resolved. Pile three. And you're able to work your way out. And with this woman here holding this scroll, this book, uh, you guys are being inspired. You're going to be able to navigate your way through anything. Pile three. Okay, let's pull from the Archangel Oracle deck and see which Archangels want to come forward and deliver messages or that may want to work with you. Pile three. Okay, this one flew out. Okay. We got leadership, Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. You guys are stepping into your power. And Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of Communication. So that's like you guys are gaining power with your communication and being able to just discuss whatever is bothering you. If that was something that you struggled with in the past, you just being able to communicate with others. So Archangel Gabriel is coming forward. If that resonates with you, you can work with Archangel Gabriel. Spirit, what else? Any other um, Archangels that come want to come forward and work with Pile 3, please, Spirit? For Pile 3, please, Spirit. Okay, we got peace, Archangel Camuel. Peace comes from remembering the only love is real. So uh, with this transformation and shifting of energies, if you guys are feeling, you know, restless or anxiety, um, Archangel Camuel is coming forward to offer peace and that you could call on this Archangel to help you uh, with feelings of peace. 
Okay, Archangel Metatron is also coming forward. Prioritize, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated because there's a lot of energy shifts coming forward. Okay, let's ask the Ascended Master deck. Ascended Master, which is Ascended Master wants to come forward to work with Pile 3? Which Ascended Master wants to come forward to work with Pile 3? Remember, whatever resonates, resonates. And it may be um, a spirit for somebody else that's coming forward if it doesn't resonate with you. It's okay. No big deal. Spirit for Pile 3. Which Ascended Master wants to come forward to work with Pile 3? Which Ascended Master wants to come forward to work with Pile 3? Come out of the closet, Amaterasu. Whatever, and you guys look at this, it's transformation. Transformation, whatever was holding you back, you're letting that go and you're able to be yourself now. So this Ascended Master is coming forward. That totally, that resonates so much. Look at this, let it go, Kuan Yin. Wow, these spirits are really coming forward. They want to bring you peace. They want to help you prioritize. You know, this energy shifts are being too much. You gaining your leadership, your, your, your power within yourself being yourself and letting things go that no longer serve you. Kuan Yin is coming forward. Okay, let's ask uh, the goddess oracle now. Which goddess wants to come forward to work with you, Pile 3? Which goddess wants to come forward to work with you, Pile 3? Which goddess wants to come forward for Pile 3, please? Which goddess wants to come forward for Pile 3, please? Which goddess wants to come forward for pile three, please? Which goddess wants to come forward for pile three, please, spirit? Look at this, uh, Lo Lois Dredd, New Beginnings. She came out in, I think, Pile 2 also. Um, definitely, you guys, your shi your energy is shifting. Your energy is shifting, and you and that's bringing in new energy for New Beginnings, Pile 3. So that goddess wants to come forward. Ishtar, Communion. She's coming forward. Demeter, nurturer, okay, she's coming forward also, and look at this um, with Ar the uh, Archangel Cameo with the peace, okay, if this is an energy shift that's like maybe a little uncomfortable and it's scary to start new things, uh, she's coming in also to nurture yourself, okay, having communion with yourself, okay, new beginnings, these goddesses are coming forward, this ascended masters are coming forward, and these archangels are coming forward, so I really feel that these spirits are, are all kind of saying a lot of the same things about these energy shifts coming for you, but you, you know, I'm really happy for you, Pile 3, um, you know, I wish you all on this beautiful transformation. And I really, I feel like this is going to be a new, beautiful new beginning for all of you. Um, I wish you the best on your path and I will see you guys soon. Bye now.